hello everyone. I hope that you are all having a wonderful day. Today it is Mascara Monday and it is time to rank the latest mascaras that I have been trying. So if you are new to this series this year, I decided I am finally going to start educating myself on drugstore mascaras. All the ones I keep hearing people talk about, ones that people rave about, and I just have never tried before. Back in the day, I used to just go grab a mascara like at Target or whatever, and I didn't really pay attention to brand. I didn't even really pay attention to how good it was. <laughs> I just used mascara. So even though I used mascara for all those years, I feel like I'm finally getting my thoughts together on which mascaras I think are actually good. So this month I decided to take a break from trying a new mascara. I had a, enough open mascaras and I just decided that now would be a good time to do a little roundup of all the ones that I have been trying. I'm sitting here sipping on my tea. I'm drinking this sample from um, Davidson's Organic. This is their Mao Jan Jasmine. I'm very sorry if I mispronounced that, but it's really good, kind of a mild jasmine. It's especially good on the second steep. So I am ready to talk mascara with you guys. Let me know, by the way, if you've tried any of these. I'm going to be ranking them from my least favorite to favorite. Okay, so I'm going to move these all down here so I can actually rank these. So I think that actually my least favorite, I'm going to have to go with this new mascara from Milani. So this is Milani's tubing mascara, and it's supposed to be a dupe for the Thrive Mascara. And there's a lot of things about it that are very, very similar. It's very, very wet, just like the Thrive. Oh, I didn't say it. This is the highly rated Lash Extensions Mascara. It's a very, very wet formula, just like the one from Thrive. It has a very similar wand. And it honestly is a tubing mascara, just like the Thrive one. It washes off easily with warm water and otherwise it doesn't smudge. So that is like a huge, Thing in its favor but I'm reading it last because it weighs my lashes down like I can only put this on my bottom lashes uh, I cannot stand wearing it on my upper lashes because it instantly makes them fall <laughs> it's very noticeable and I dislike it plus it's just so incredibly wet and messy I look I overlook that with the Thrive just because the Thrive really holds a curl and really you know looks good this one it doesn't so I say this just for my lower lashes so that is going definitely into last place here now is when hmm, I'm not sure here okay I think that this one, interestingly enough, will be my next least favorite. <laughs> this is the classic telescopic mascara from L'Oreal. So I actually have gotten some really nice um, lash looks, I guess you could say, with this mascara. Um, but one thing I really don't like about it is how flimsy the wand is. It's a super, super bendy wand. I feel like whenever I put it back in, it's going to break off. Like, I feel like I have to be super, super careful with it. Also... It is another messy, wet mascara, although that is kind of mitigated by the type of wand that it is. It has these shorter bristles, so I don't find it to be nearly as messy as other super wet mascaras. So this type of mascara with this wand, it's supposed to be super separating, like it's not supposed to clump your lashes together, but I actually have a problem with this one wanting to clump my lashes together. This is one I always have to have a lash separator on hand, which you know, if I'm at home, it's not a big of a deal, but this isn't one that I just want to throw in my travel bag with me because I know that I'm going to be sitting there messing with it, trying to make it look good, which eventually it does. It, I feel like it is a very lengthening mascara and it wears pretty well on me. Uh, so, you know, it's not by a bad mascara by any means. I just get annoyed by the fact that I almost always have to use a lash separator with this mascara. So that is why that is going next. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. You know what, next I'm going to put this, this other L'Oreal mascara. So this is the Unlimited mascara, and this is that mascara that has that funky wand that bends like this. Oh, don't pay attention, by the way, to my horrible nails. I tried myself to remove some gel and, like, destroyed my nails. So I tried to paint them to cover it, but don't please don't look. <laughs> but anyway, back to this mascara wand. So this is the one that bends, and it's supposed to kind of be a hack to make it easier to reach your outer lashes and your lower lashes without getting mascara all over the place. I think to a certain extent it does work. So that is, you know, an interesting little tidbit, but I don't think it's that important. I don't know. I just don't think it's that useful. I, did, I really don't even use that feature when I use this mascara. Um, I do think it's a good mascara. I actually wore this one today. It wears decently well. I did get some flaking with it. Um, it's Again, a very wet mascara. I'm finding that is just not my preference. Even if the mascara is really, really good, if if it dries out fairly quickly, that is always a plus. But I've had this one open for 
six months at this point and it has not it's not drying out <laughs> so you know what if you like a really wet mascara and you like it to stay wet for its entire life this is a great mascara and honestly it does do a pretty good job lengthening probably not as good as the telescopic but it does do a good job lengthening and it does a decent job volumizing um not like a true volumizing mascara does, but it does a decent job. I actually think this is a really good mascara. I like how my lashes look with it, but I do find myself annoyed, first of all, by how wet it is, and also by the chunky packaging. Like, it just sits funny in my little bin where I keep mascaras, and it makes everything else sit funny, and I find that very annoying. <laughs> so that's why that's going in uh, the next place there. So now we're down to the last three mascaras. Oh. This is gonna be tough. Okay, um, I think next I'm going to rank this mascara from Milani. So this is their classic, highly rated anti-gravity mascara. So when you first open this mascara, it looks like it does absolutely nothing. Like, Okay, so first of all, looking at the wand, it has one of those um, wands that, you know, has kind of the swoopy shape. <laughs> But when you first use it, it really, really does act like a natural mascara. It doesn't do a whole lot for your lashes. But all of a sudden, like, this is one of those mascaras that the longer you wear it, the better it gets. It just gets better and better. I thought after a month of being open, it was very good. Well, you mean, you know what? After three months of being open, it's even better. Like, this just gets better and better. And it does dry out a little bit. So this is one of those mascaras that's not super wet, which is delightful. <laughs> I really, really like that about this mascara. I like how it wears on me. I think that it does a great job giving me beautiful, fluffy, wispy lashes. So this is a really pretty mascara. Um, I'm just rating it lower than these two because it is frustrating how it takes a while for it to actually get good. I mean, I don't like having to wait a whole month for a mascara to get good, I guess. I mean, I'm getting pretty picky here at this point, but I've got a lot of good mascaras here in front of me. So <laughs> just being honest, but truly, this is a great mascara. So now we come down to my last two that I've been trying the last few months. This is the ColourPop Act, Nat Act Natural and then the Honest Beauty Extreme Length Mascara and Lash Primer. Um, I think I'm actually going to put this one next, which means the Honest Beauty one would be my favorite from the past six months. So let's talk about this one from ColourPop first. So this is the Act Natural Defining Mascara. This is surprisingly really good. I say surprising just because a lot of times when a mascara is described as a natural mascara, I feel like it's just going to be like a lash tint. It's not, I feel like it, you know, it usually doesn't do much. Um, it has a nice fluffy wand. I don't find it to be too messy, however, but there's something about this where it creates really beautiful, fluffy, natural, wispy lashes. If you're like super anti-spider lashes, but you still want a good mascara, I, I think you'll like this one. I think it is really, really good. In the past, I've tried the brown one, which is, you know, a little bit more <laughs> natural, I guess. This is the black one. But truly, this would be one of my top recommendations for a fluffy mascara that's not um, spidery or too voluminous. Just a really, really beautiful mascara. Quite gorgeous. Really, really recommend this one. Now, this one from Honest Beauty. I've heard about this mascara so many times over the years. I remember Jessica Alba being on Tati's channel <laughs> talking about this mascara. So, you know, this mascara has been around for a really long time. It does have a primer on one side a white primer that looks like this and then the actual mascara is on the other side and its wand looks like that so it's not a super fluffy wand it has more of those sh short bristles so the reason why this is so good for one thing the primer it really does make a difference it gives my lashes intense lift like i noticed that immediately that my lash my my lashes um do have like natural curl to them but there's something about this one where it made them extra lifted and it held it there like this was a great primer really really good and then the actual mascara <laughs> I mean I, you're gonna like this one if you like a more dramatic lash if you like length and drama like I know this one is specifically for the length part and I think they do have a volumizing mascara that I have not tried yet but I still would say this does some volumizing but Definitely, definitely this is a separating and lengthening mascara. So if lengthening is what you're after, I highly recommend this one. And of course, if you are after a mascara that doesn't have fragrance and is free of parabens, you know, free of 
all the things that, you know, clean beauty technique uh, usually <laughs> offers to be free of. Honest Beauty, I feel like, is one of the first brands I heard of years ago that was, you know, clean. You know, we all know that clean beauty means different things to different brands, but <laughs> this is one of the first brands I ever heard of that was trying to go in that direction. So, you know, this is free of a lot of the things that other mascaras have. So if that makes a difference to you, you might like this one. So here we have it. <laughs> My ranking of the mascaras I have tried in the last six months. I'm very interested to know what you guys think. Ooh, let me get rid of this before it stains my blanket. Is this how you would rank these mascaras if you've tried them? I'm very interested to know. <laughs> and if there's any mascaras that uh, you think I should try, make sure and let me know. I still have a super, super long list of mascaras I need to try. There's so many amazing ones at the drug drugstore that are on my list. So don't worry, they are coming. The next one I wanna try starting in August is the Lottie London Super Fake. I have it in my drawer. I've just been waiting to open it <laughs> since I already have so much mascara open. But that'll be the next one I'm reviewing. Again, if there's another one you really want me to see me try, leave it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate you, and I hope that you have a great Monday. Talk to you later now. Bye.